Bulls, 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 come back! Our forefathers came here to this area. It wasn't because of freedom. We had freedom from the East Coast to the West Coast. They came here for good paying jobs. We want good paying jobs. America's tired of it. We want national health care. It is a shame in the year 2009 that children in this country do not have health care. What is wrong with this? Mr. Obama, this is a national outcry to you. Take back our country. Uh, basically, just trying to get the word out that uh, Senator Shelby has been spreading false rumors. Uh, we want to make sure the truth gets out. We figure, you know, Senator Shelby says he does not believe in using taxpayers' money to bail out anybody. But we find it kind of ironic that uh, he used taxpayers' money in his state to help out the fishing industry. So we figure if the fishing industry is good, that the auto industry deserves a break. And, and by the way... And to bring Mercedes-Benz Pardon? And to bring Mercedes-Benz Well, yeah, basically, he also got used taxpayers' money for Toyota, Mercedes, and Honda in Alabama. My name is George Wendow. I live in Toledo, Ohio. I'm with UAW Local 12. I work at the Jeep factory. I've been there 31 years. Uh, it's now, Jeep is now owned by Chrysler. Um, and I'm here to demonstrate against any concessions or givebacks. We've suffered enough. We've given enough. We don't think that we should give anything more. Uh, just because uh, Wall Street got us in this mess where we have a credit crunch and no one can buy uh, the products that we make. What do you think that the uh, the public is not understanding or, or not hearing or uh, doesn't? The people, be, uh, the public thinks that we're be all becoming millionaires by working in a factory 31 years, uh, that we're all millionaires or billionaires and we're greedy. But the fact is, less than 10% of the cost of the vehicle it goes for labor costs and legacy costs. Even if, even if we worked for free, they wouldn't lower the price of the car and uh, they would only make maybe 5 to 10% more uh, in profit than they make now. This is not really a, a way to solve the economic problem by cutting our wages and benefits. It's a way to crush the union. And by crushing the union, then you can now crush the wages of the non-union workers because they can say, well, the UAW took a cut in pay, so you have to take a cut too. Where does it stop? Right. They want us to all work for a handful of rice every day, but you have to have a PhD in computer science to be an auto worker now mm -hmm. because everything's automated. So well, they, and those jobs aren't any more any safer. Uh, they're not safer. Uh, they don't. They don't uh, give us uh, labor. They have labor-saving technology, but they still work us just as hard. They they overload the jobs and cut the payrolls. They, they cut the number of workers so that the people who are working are working. Uh, twice as hard. They want us to work harder and faster, longer for less, and to make a profit. Well, that's been the, their strategy for 30 years, and it really hasn't saved the auto industry, has it? Sisters and brothers, think of yourself as part of a massive counseling operation. We are counseling America about a very serious addictive problem that is sweeping the nation. We are in the hands of profit junkies who are out of control. Amen. Free market extremists have taken over the economy and profit junkies are destroying America. We must close the profit crack house. And the Employee Free Choice Act is about closing the profit crack house. Unions have built the middle class in America. We must work together to end the power of the free market extremists who took over the nation and the free market extremists who have made profit junkiedom a characteristic behavior of our leadership.
think about it. It's very helpful to give tough love to those who are experiencing a serious problem. Let's join together and end the power of the profit junkies. No taxes, no job, no tax, no job, no tax. Well, what they want is concessions, and I think that should not happen at all. We've made concessions in 03, 05, 07, and 08. I lost my cost of living already that goes into the Viva. I, I don't see how they can say that my labor, which is 10% of the cost of the vehicle, that if you cut my labor any at all, is going to save any of the three companies. We need to protect the manufacturer base of this country. We need the, uh, the government has to start helping all Americans make better wages if we're going to get out of this uh, deep recession that we're in right now. What do you think that the, uh, uh, you know, the average citizen is not understanding or not hearing properly about the situation? Well, it's the propaganda. I, I think there's been a, a media propaganda going back to Ronald Reagan where he promoted, hey, give tax breaks to the rich and cut the wages of the workers that were going to help the, uh, the American economy, and it hasn't worked. Just the opposite. The, the rich need to pay their fair share, and we need to be doing things to promote wages of all Americans, be it union or non-union. Uh, if a person has more money in their pocket, they have more money to spend, they have more money to buy goods, and that gets the economy going. Plus, they have more money to save for their for their uh, retirement. We need national health care, too. Uh, that would help everybody, companies and, and workers alike. And we're the only country. Yeah, look at all the other countries around here that, uh, uh, that are represented here that are paying health care to their workers. Well, it's really a rational way if you want to think about uh, financing health care. It's to have single payer national health care it's a lot more efficient and to get the insurance company vampires out of the equation uh, would, would help to lower costs but uh, of course if you want to um, lower costs you could always import you know foreign doctors to come in here and work for half as much as the doctors we have here oh then those doctors would not like that would they no the, the, the rich people in this country would not like us to import foreigners to take their jobs the way they have exported our jobs to foreigners for the past 30 years. And that's a fact, Jack. You know, we got free trade. We want to get fair trade. We're looking forward to Obama taking office so we can get a, a, a fair practice with the trade and uh, get the trade deficit in line. It's really out of control. We've already lost the textile industry. We've lost the steel industry. And now the auto industry is under attack. Uh, uh, I hear a lot about uh, national health care being a uh, part of what you guys are at. Yeah, national health care is really the real issue. Let's fight for something that's really going to be beneficial. Beneficial to the auto industry and every industry alike. What do you think that uh, the, the public, uh, the average American, is not hearing in the media that, that they need to hear or understand a little better? But basically, what they're not hearing is that's a, a false rumor about making $78 an hour. Matter of fact, the workers in the South make $3 more an hour if we're talking about dollar for dollar. It's the benefits, basically, that they're trying to attack. And the reason the South is so adamant of us coming down to what they have is because they're scared that once Obama gets in office, that basically it'll be fair we have the Free Choice Act. And basically, the workers down there, they're going to want benefits. They're going to want pensions. And they're going to want to unionize. That's right. That's why I think. Well, Mr. Gallifinger has been talking tough for about 25 years, and he's been giving back for about 25 years. You know, he's talking tough now, and I don't see anything different going to be, uh, come out of this. Unfortunately, uh, the UAW is a part of the problem, in my opinion. They've been working with the Big Three to get us where we are right here. You look at like, uh, the uh, UAW and the Big Three have had these joint programs for all these years, going back to the first round of concessions there in 80, 81. And um, here we are. We're, we're down to uh, half of what the UAW was at one time, so I don't see the UAW really doing anything uh, at all. They should have been telling the big three all along, start manufacturing fuel-efficient uh, vehicles, 
and uh, I'm alive. I, I live down in Monroe. Our Ford factory has uh, just shut the doors here within the last couple months. Got a big empty building sitting there. It'd be great to see uh, Mr. Obama pull off his uh, some of his campaign promises, start manufacturing windmills and solar and uh, geothermal technology in some of these empty auto factories, put, put people back to work uh, that are looking for a job.